Welcome back. And tonight I have the Unify AC Mesh. This is the standard version. I do have the Pro version. We'll do a different video on that a little later. But uh, let's open this guy up. Let's see what's in the box and see what it's all about. So let's take a look and see what's in the box. Um, when I got this, this was in, in here, but I decided to save a little bit of time and go ahead and take it out of the box. All right. First thing we have is the familiar uh, quick start guide. <clears throat> and this uh, goes over uh, how to mount the device, uh, how to hook it up for the topology, the requirements. Uh, talks about the power requirements. Now, just so you do know, this is uh, 802.3 AF. It is not passive PoE. So a quick start guide, those are always helpful. And the next thing we have is the unit itself. So and these things are pretty sleek. You can see the, the U logo here. Uh, on the back, you know, it's got some, uh, some of the mounting gear is, is built into the unit itself. Then down here on the bottom, we've got this little rubber gasket that you would stick your cable through to make a weatherproof uh, seal there. On the top, this is where your antennas go. So we'll slide this on. This has got this little, I'm not sure what they call this little plastic thing, but basically it keeps us from losing this, this hatch here. Um, then you've got your, your Ethernet and your reset. So we can take the connectors off, or the caps off these connectors. And I'm sure in this box somewhere, we have antennas. So we'll take those guys off, set them to the side here. Uh, the next thing we've got in the box, some more mounting hardware. And I do have several of these coming for a hotel project. So I'll do a follow-up video with a live install. Here's our familiar uh, blue level uh, built in right there and then we've got the antennas they do uh, they do flex and I don't know if you can see this um, on the camera or not eh, probably not but there's a U uh, on here, and I'm assuming that that uh, has to do with making sure that we've got the the polarization right. So we'll go ahead and get these guys screwed in here, and you can see, you know, once once they're on, you can do all kinds of configurations. the accessories power cable and I don't know if you've noticed but the new power cables are white on some of the devices got a couple uh, nice zip strips screws and then a 24 volt 802.3 AF non-passive PoE injector. So that's it for the unit itself. Um, if you want to know how big it is with the antennas, it's just a little bit bigger than the box. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, here's a standard uh, Sharpie pen. There's the pen, you know, next to it. So these things. They're not, they're not real big. Um, here's a bottle that I'm using for water. And you can see it's not, uh, without the antennas, it's not bigger than the standard 16 ounce Coke bottle. So the next step for us is, uh, this is, we are inside, so we're not gonna need this little protective weather gadget. Got our ethernet cable. It's plugged into a standard PoE switch. Plug this guy in. Indicator LED is right here, so let's uh, 
See if it gets power. Hmm. I think it's gonna I think it's gonna get power. Let's see. Let's see what happens when we turn this light off. There you can see it's grabbing information from the network. And uh now we are uh, we are waiting adoption. So let's hop over to the controller and adopt this guy. Okay, so at this point we've unboxed the device. We've talked about it a little bit. I've I've got it right here. It is plugged in uh, back over there <laughs> into the uh, PoE switch and the rack. We've got our Unify controller up. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and log into this guy. And we've got one pending device under the WLAN devices, so we'll go in there. You can see I've already got one mesh device that's got four clients. I've got an APAC light <clears throat> that has one client. And here is our new mesh unit, so we will adopt this. It is provisioning. And should be connected any second. You will notice that I do have the upgrade button available on the existing access points. And that is because I am running a firmware release that um, does not match the controller. And now the uh, Unify APAC mesh is adopted. So we can open this up and we can give it a meaningful name as mesh2. That sounds pretty good to me. So we can look at the details on this. It's been up for uh, 45 minutes. Our uplink is uh, connected to lab switch number 2, port number 8. Uh, the speed is gigabit full duplex. Take a look at the NBG radio set up here. And then here's the uh, NAAC. And then we've got RF environment. There are no users connected right now. Um, literally, I have, you know, the other mesh is mounted right over here. It was, it was inches away from where uh, we were doing that unboxing video. So... Who knows what's happening right now. Maybe I should put a baked potato over here. And that's totally a joke. <laughs> don't even, you don't even have to comment on it. I thought it was funny. But anyway, uh, moving on, we can take a look at the, uh, the radios. We can set the antenna gain. Uh, transmit power right now is on auto. Uh, channel width is 40 and channel is auto. <clears throat> but we're not going to let the software decide that. Um, it did surprisingly, if you look, it actually put it on channel one. So I have an AP uh, on 11, 6, and 1. So that's amazing that uh, that it got it right. So I'm, I'm actually, maybe it's not amazing, but I, I'm surprised that, that, it, uh, <laughs> that it got it right. So we could change that. Um, you get a lot of your, your standard AP options. So what I'm going to do... is I'm actually going to do an unboxing video. This is the AC Mesh Pro. And this guy is, uh, and this uh, particular unit um, actually subjected it to several hours in my shower. And you see my homemade, uh, my homemade mount here made out of uh, Cat5. But um, here's a little bit of a size comparison. I don't know if you can, if you can see this. So this is the Pro. I'm going to do an unboxing video on, on this yet this weekend. Um, and then here's the standard. But what we'll do is we will unbox all of these APs and we will set up a mesh. We'll do that video this weekend. So uh, come back for that. So right now that's... That's all I've got for this. Um, actually, and look, mesh two. We have. Uh, 
Um, yeah, an iPhone connected uh, over at uh, 72.2 megabits per second. So um, if you like the video, give a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. And come back uh, for the next video where we'll, where we'll set up a, a full mesh network. See you then.